This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Discoveries, Unit 3, Animation and Games, Lesson 12, Keyboard Input, Part 4. Moving Sprites. You can change your sprite's position based on key presses in the same way you changed its animation. Its animations, right? So just like we did in the last one, if you don't know what they're talking about, go do the last one if you're stuck on it. Watch my tutorial on that. Do this. Add an if statement inside your draw loop, okay? Check whether the right arrow key has been pressed down. Add code inside the conditional, don't let these words scare you, to move the sprite right if the right arrow is down. So what is the conditional? Do you need to change the sprite's X or Y property to move right? Okay, what is the conditional? Do you remember? So, the conditional is part of the code that is checking on something. So, inside an if statement is our conditional. So, first we want to add an if statement inside our draw loop. Is that here? Nope. Hmm. There we are. Inside our draw loop. Okay. Um, I'm going to do it under background. Update values if the right arrow key is pressed, move the sprite. So I'm going to put it here. Remember, comments are for us humans, right? Computers skip over comments, right? Comments with these slash slash. Computers don't even read that code. That's for other programmers or for you to leave notes to yourself. Check whether the right arrow key has been pressed. Okay. Hmm. Well, that's not under this one. Variables. Nope. Sprites. Nope. Drawing, maybe? Nope. Key down. Okay, so we're going to grab that. And we want it inside of our if statement because we're checking. We're saying computer. If the which the right arrow key is down. If, and that's what the conditional is, right? This is the conditional. If, and whatever condition. If 5 is greater than 17, which asks the computer, is 5 greater than 17? So if key down is right, Add code inside to move this sprite right if the right arrow is pressed. Okay, how do we go right? Well, let's look at this. So here, X and Y is this way. X is 42. X is 100. X is 365. So to move right, to move to the right, is X growing or is X shrinking? It's growing. So you want to add to X. So... We got it set to animation, so let's go to our sprite. I'm going to shrink this. And sprite's X. So we want to use uh, math. Oh, that's not where our equal sign is. Where's our equals? Uh, under variable. I'm going to drag this one in here. Go back to sprite because what we're going to change is our sprite's x. We're going to say sprite x, which our sprite's name is bug. Make sure we change that. Is equal to, back over here we want math, and we just said we need to add to x. So whatever our last x coordinate is, sprite x, we still want that to stay, but we also want to add a bit to it. And I'm not sure. Let's add 2. Kind of depends on how fast you want to move. All right. And let's debug our, our bug here. Eh? See what I did there? Let's see how we're doing. Okay. Oh, that's a bug. Um, okay. Oh, it's a ladybug? Hmm. And we got it. And she, he, our ladybug. I think it's a dude ladybug. Does that even work? Is gone forever. Oh, just kidding. Back. Awesome. And you can see how we're going to be able to animate characters pretty quick here. Great. Let's uh, keep going. Actually, first, if you want to double check your code, there is what was working for me. All right. 